Hi y'all! So my name is Victoria Thatch and I'm the college advisor over at JW Sexton. Uh, so the first question is why did I pick the school that I attended? So fun fact and background about me is that I'm originally from Lansing, Michigan. I was born and raised here all, you know, 18 years. And you're probably wondering, oh, did she go to Michigan State University because it's right down the street? No, I did not. I decided to attend the University of Michigan. So I am a traitor. Go blue. Um, but the reasoning why is because um, throughout my whole high school career, I thought I was going to attend Lansing Community College um, and then afterwards transfer to Michigan State. That's what usually a lot of students in this area do. And it's, it's usually the safest option to do. Um, but my college advisor at the time pushed me to apply to the University of Michigan. I didn't think much of it. I was just like, okay, like maybe I'll get in, maybe I won't. Um, and then the couple of weeks before Christmas, I ended up getting a decision back um, to the University of Michigan and they accepted me. So um, even then I was, kind of concerned because I didn't know whether or not um, I, I would have enough funds to pay for it, all that kind of stuff. But then I ended up getting a hefty scholarship um, to attend. So I, I just couldn't say no. So I ended up, you know, packing my bags uh, the summer before my freshman year and I moved out to Ann Arbor and the rest is history. So the next question is, did I stay in the same major uh, throughout my post-secondary journey? No, it's kind of funny. Um, another little tidbit is that um, for some of y'all who are from the Lansing area, you might know that um, a lot of uh, the high schools in the area will put out a post in the Lansing State Journal of the top 10 students with this little bio, and it'll talk about like what they're doing, um, about them and like all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing because like the little newspaper slip it is still um, framed in our home. And that specifically said that I was gonna attend the University of Michigan and study biochemistry and obviously, um, and then also become a doctor. And obviously I am not doing any of those things and I don't plan on doing any of those things in the nearby future. Uh, it, it completely changed question, I didn't pursue the career that I thought I was going to pursue. Um, my first year of college was was pretty difficult um, going from Sexton to the University of Michigan. I always thought that I was going to go into biochemistry and eventually become a doctor of some sort. Um, I was taking a lot of bio classes and chem classes and whatnot. And it was so interesting because First of all, I wasn't doing particularly well in it, and that's not the reason why I decided to drop, but I kind of had this realization that when I was in these classes, I, I wasn't even enjoying the content that I was learning, and I was kind of doing the bare minimum. I was just like, I just need to pass this class so I can get through, um, all that kind of stuff. So then the winter of my freshman year, I decided to change it up. I was just like, let me break up all these science classes and take maybe like a psych class or like a sociology class, something about social work maybe, and like all that kind of stuff, just for fun, just to see how it'll go. And I absolutely fell in love with those classes. And it wasn't that the difficulty levels were, you know, different from my, my bio classes and my chem classes and all that kind of stuff. It was just as difficult, but I, I had the urge to do well. I enjoyed the content. I wanted to learn more about the things that I was doing. So I ended up switching to, um, psychology and then kind of with that my minors fell along with it I started taking classes about Asian American issues I started taking social justice classes I started having conversations about diversity and equity and inclusion with people so then I decided to pick up a minor in um, community action and social change which is at the University of Michigan it's under the school of social work and then I also decided to pick up an Asian um, Pacific Islander American studies minor as well so yeah, um, I tell the students all the time, I was like, you might know what you want to do now, but it might change later along the lines. I don't think I would have had it any other way. Um, so yeah. Some of the hiccups or setbacks that I encountered, like I said before, I wasn't doing really well in my classes um, my freshman year. I realized that I didn't really learn how to study properly um, when I was in high school. I kind of like flowed through high school, did the work as I could, and I, I did really well. But when I ended up going to college, um, I was having a really difficult time with my classes and I was facing a lot of imposter syndrome because of it. Um, it was kind of like this um, 
small fish in a big pond like mentality. Um, it's very interesting comparing yourself to a lot of students because you're just like, I was also, you know, top 10 or battle Victorian, all that kind of stuff. And then you end up with a bunch of these other students who are like top 10 battle Victorian, all that stuff. So you kind of get a bit of imposter syndrome. Um, I was too scared to ask for questions, especially in my first year. Um, I didn't want to like, because it seemed as though like all my classmates knew what they were doing. So I didn't want to be like that one person who was constantly asking questions, which, you know, looking back on it, I definitely should have asked all the questions I needed to ask um, and got the help that I needed to get help with. But eventually I did learn that later on in my college career. Some things that I was involved in, I was a thoroughly involved student. Um, I realized after my freshman year, um, in combination that uh, my classes were really hard, I, I didn't really find um, a group that I was, um, you know, really invested in, what I wanted to put my work towards, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then going on to my sophomore year, as I started to realize the different major that I wanted to pursue and the minors that I wanted to pursue, um, I started getting involved in a lot of org work that kind of pertained to the work that I was doing in the classroom. So a big one that I was a part of was the Vietnamese Student Association. I was the advocacy chair for all two years where we had conversations with other Asian American orgs and other POC orgs about like diversity and equity and inclusions and different issues that our community face. So that is what I did for a majority of my college career. I was also a part of a um, chemistry fraternity. It was a pre-professional, so it was co-ed. Um, I, that was also a big um, part of my college career, even though obviously I didn't major in chemistry. Um, I still like doing science for fun. So what we did was that we did a lot of volunteer work. We worked with young girls um, and had conversations about STEM with them. We would volunteer at Habitats for Humanity, um, all of that kind of stuff. And I loved all my brothers. They were amazing people who are still in my life today. So I don't think I don't I don't think I would have gotten anywhere without um, them as well. Something else that um, I did was that I was a part of a dance group. So growing up, it was really funny. My parents gave me the option of doing Taekwondo or dance and I chose Taekwondo instead. So that's what I did for a majority of my life. So once I got to college, I was just like, hey, maybe I'll just like, you know, join a dance group just so I can like, you know, experience it. And I was in it for three years of my college career. And I still talk to those folks who were in my dance group today. But yeah, so. I don't think without my involvement um, in college and on campus, I don't think I would have succeeded as well as I did um, before. So there was that. Um, and the last question is what would I would tell my younger self? Uh, like I said before, it is a-okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to, you know, be kind of vulnerable, I guess. I think entering into college, I had this kind of fear and expectation that people had all like had their lives together and um, all of that kind of stuff. But then I started to meet more people on campus. I was, you know, with all my friends in my orgs and stuff like that and realized that like, you know, we're all in the same boat. We're all kind of struggling here. Um, and it's like hard and it's okay to admit that it's hard and it's okay to ask um, the people from your orgs to help you out. It's okay to ask your professors for help because that's their job. It's okay to ask your GSIs for help. Um, so that is what I would tell my younger self. Thanks guys for listening.